There are so many famous kings in the world, but you have never heard of two kings who reigned on the same throne. These kings have their origin and destination in Africa, Ethiopia which is the oldest country in the world. The story is from the 3rd century, which is far from our current era. 1700 years ago, there was an Ethiopian king named Taser or Izana. This king did not have a son to inherit the throne, so he and his wife, Ahiwa, begged God to give them children. After many years of prayer, they gave birth to twin boys. His children were named Izana and Saizana. Izana died when his children were five years old. After that, until the children grew up, their mother Ahiwa reigned in Ethiopia for about seven years and putting Abun Salama, who is the first Ethiopian bishop, as advisor. When these twins were twelve years old, they were believed to be king and were told to reign. They did not want to rule because they were children of the oath. But it was decided that they should rule because it was God's will. When the scholars were talking about who should rule, they decided that they should rule together because they should not be separated. But the others said that two kings have never reigned in the world on one throne and the question arose as to how they would reign. At last, the whole scholars decide on the idea of ruling together. After some time, they divided the state into two and started ruling half of one country individually. The reason for this was that in order to spread Christianity, Abra sat in Aksum and ruled the northern part of Ethiopia while Atsba ruled the southern part. The extent of their territory was from the southern part of Arabia to Madagascar, the kingdom was one of the four most powerful kingdoms of its time. One of the proofs of this is that the younger Constantine, who was the younger brother of Constantine the Great, the converted to Aryan religion and sent a letter to the Ethiopian government asking them to change their religion. Even though the Ethiopian government refused to agree to that, the government of Constantine could not do anything other than sending a letter. The letter is still being studied by various researchers. Among the things they do, they return the people from worshipping idols to worshipping God and returning to Christianity. This made Ethiopia to have its present form. Most people in Ethiopia follow the Ethiopian Orthodox religion. In 350 CE, they officially declared Christianity to be the national religion of Ethiopia. From that time until 1966, Christianity was the national religion of Ethiopia for about 1,616 years. Now there is no national religion, they built many churches and converted the ancient Torah synagogues into churches. As Ethiopia was a follower of Judaism before Christianity, when it converted to Christianity, they changed their place of worship to a church, among the churches they built for the first time in Aksum, they built a church in the name of Zion Mary with twelve temples, five rooms and seventy-two pillars. But this church could not last more than six hundred years. Because a Jewish leader named Judith who lived in Ethiopia had been burning churches in Ethiopia for forty years, she burned this church together. But at the time of the burning, the church's procedure was different, so she could not burn it. She gather the priests and servants of the church. Dig a pit, pile up wood, and said tell me how to burn the church, otherwise I will burn you. The people who were afraid told her that if she anoints it with wax and burns it, the whole church burns. She did what they told her. The foundations of this church have now been excavated. Also, the other churches built by the kings include St. Ted Bibi Mariam in Wolo, Myrtle Mariam and Tana Kirkos in Gojam, and St. Mariam in Goha Zion in West Shoa. The two kings expanded their empire and in addition to ruling Madagascar, Kenya, Yemen, Somalia and Sudan together, they spread the gospel in all these countries. At that time, they took advantage of the political and diplomatic system and the relationship of the diplomatic system and made it enforceable by submitting a request for the return of the Der Sultan Monastery and place in Jerusalem. In general, the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church calls them saints in commemoration of their outstanding contribution to the country and the church. The church named after Abraha Atzba is located in the area of Wikro in Tigray Diocese. The Ethiopian church celebrates Thir holiday on October 4th every year.